All right, welcome guys. We're back down at Hua Lampong Railway Station, right here. Now, I came down to see some of this and to see the museum and have a rare kind of walk around inside of the station. Today, they've been doing this uh, Hua Lampong In Your Eyes exhibition. So I came down here to see it before it leaves and they're uh, letting people go up onto the roof and do some other stuff. So I'm excited to go look around and see some of these old train engines and everything that's here. So let me show you around. Okay, so here's the railway museum here at Huilampong. Looks like everybody and their brother is in here today. It's going to be tough to get any good pictures. But... Take a look around anyway. Some of the old pictures of the trains leaving for a long time. Drama 5. Here's the old style tickets. Looks like some of them say two bot, three bot. I'm not sure what this old machine is here. It looks like they put something in the top. And it comes out of the bottom down here, has a couple levers. It says it in Thai, but I can't read the Thai, so I'm not sure what it is. Kind of a cool looking old thing. The old bell. Old grandfather clock. Here, have an abacus. And here's some kind of adding machine, some old stuff. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what's up in the museum here. You can't really see very well there. It's got kind of a glare on the Science, Taiwan, China, Tokyo. This looks like maybe a bench that was used for uh, the actual king himself, Roma 5. You got some pictures next to it anyway of him. So this is kind of a model of what the old railway car used to look like, had a table and the window. I like this one here. Here's a warning poster telling you not to lean out of the windows or to cross the train tracks or to not cross between. Don't write graffiti on them. <laughs> oh, this one's an important one. No shooting guns at the train. And be careful, don't drive your car across the train. Okay, so let's go up to the top floor here. Alright, so top floor of the museum. It's like a selfie spot in the corner. Now, it's kind of cool if you could go up there, but they have a blocked off. 
This must be like an old record keeping platform. Alright, so this is neat. So we're right up here on the top platform. Down here is the entrance to where you come in. And over there where the fountain's at, that used to be the old World War II bunker that the Japanese built. Because this area was bombed by the Allies during World War II. So a lot of people are out. This is the last day of this exhibition here at Huilampong. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Never been up to this part of the train station itself. This is the last day. They're doing a Saturday and a Sunday, like an open exhibition of the old Huilampong station. So came down here to check this out. Yeah, it's very cool. Let's keep walking around the station and see what else we can see. And down here by the old entry, all these columns. I do really like how they have these doors built. people came today to do the last day where you can tour this. All the mosaics up on the top. And the inside of the building. Real ticket windows. Now, this was supposed to have been closed down on the 24th of December, and I made a video about that if anybody has seen it. The out with the old, in with the new. And after I made that video, they announced that this was going to stay open for like 22 trains a day. Because they still don't have a way for the Eastern Line to go to Bangsu Junction. So this place is still up in the air on whether or not this will, this will be closed or what the plan is for this place. So how cool is this? Have the old steam locomotives here. And then have some more on the other side over here. There's just so many people here. This is really good to see that as many people are coming out to uh, check out the exhibits that they have here. So this one is from Japan, it says. 1949. Yeah, that is really cool. So anybody watching this, it's a train spotter, probably knows all about this old locomotive. So they got a sign up saying you can't look in there, but So this one is Hitachi, Japan. Years in service from 1955 to 1982. Air brake. And the engine is 648 horsepower. It's a two cylinder engine. It's a type 2-6-0. And it weighs 37,630 kilograms. That's pretty impressive. It's only that many horsepower. 
got some uh, wood up there that they can burn. So number 715. This one unfortunately doesn't have a data plate on it saying when it was built. Let's see if we can get a look in here. hour ride down to Suratani, put your luggage up here and sit on the wooden seats. Let's check out the, the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom is pretty much what they still use today. They have the old squat toilet and the drain right over there to let all the water run out on the tracks. And then they have the wash basin on this side. I don't know if this is a, a water valve or what. Back in the locomotive. This is a great view here of the old trains. on this track with uh, third class carriage. And then the other one on the other line over there. The SRT Prestige. Right, let's take a look at the Prestige car. Got the the wood paneling. And here's the sleeper car. Some other people are already in here sleeping. on the train and the curtains with these nice big windows has some AC blaring which is nice all right let's go back outside all right another car here it's just another one of the third class carriages in style not as nice as the prestige you just have the fans and open up the window I spent a lot of time on train cars like this. And the safe type of bathroom with a squat toilet. Alright. And engine number 850. And then looking back into the main part of the terminal right there. All right, so I figured out what this big line is for, is you get a little card and you can get some stamps and get a commemorative cup. So let's try to get one of those.
get the train ready for the next next run. Okay, so this is what I was looking for. So right here behind me is a little monument dedicated to the start of the Thai rail system. So in 1893, King Chulong, if I could speak, King Chulalong Korn did a little ceremony, and this is Rama V. And he is the one that kind of got Thailand going with the rail system. So he had the inauguration ceremony right here on this spot that was the first train leaving from this railroad station all the way to Ayutthaya. So this was the start of the Thai rail system right here on this spot. So this is a big deal. He was also a really influential king for Thailand. And so the Thais will come here and they will like make a little bit of merit. And they have an old train over here. So this is pretty cool. So they have the old steam engine. And then the monument. And I, I guess from what I read, there was, was a little building over here, but that's long gone. And as you can see right around, this is the, the whole rail system. And everybody's out here the last day of the little through your eyes. And this is what the rail junction looks like, just outside of Hualampung Station. And we have a professional model right here. She's showing off how to uh, properly model in front of a train. And there goes the train off to Nakam Sawan. So it looks like right here is the uh, all the undercarriage stuff of some of these old trains. Probably hauling off to recycle or take them in the boneyard. Cleaning all this stuff up. never been in this part of the station and as it says customers satisfactions are our job right.
right here when the trains come in there's a ladder and a stairwell that goes right up there and you can get up to a place and that's what you open up those windows and run those exhaust fans whenever all these diesel locomotives are uh, belching the smoke. Here's the back side of Ulaanbaatar. And as you can see out towards the skyline, Christian Church out there. Okay, so all that, that up there was the hotel at one time, and then they changed it and it became all the offices that you could see. So that's definitely a part of the train station I had never been to before. It's up some really nice marble stairways, but all of that's uh, going away for Bangsu Junction. All right, guys, so that finishes up our quick little tour of the Hulan Pong exhibition uh, through the lens, and it was pretty fun. Uh, went around, got all these little stations gathered up for uh, the free cup, and uh, got to talk to some nice people all around. And anyway, guys, if you like the video, make sure you click like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know something else, leave me a comment down below. Or if you want me to go see something different, tell me in a comment and I'll do my best to go do it. And remember guys, as always, life is a journey. So enjoy.